Now even though I'm converting this thing to run on electricity, I still want to drive around town for a few weeks or months while I build up enough money to start the conversion, which means I have to do some basic car repair. This thing has a terrible gas leak, as evidenced by all of this. This is not dirt, this is oil splatters. Tar and sealant and all that crap that's mixed with the gas as it dribbles out the back while I'm driving on the highway. It leaves all this splattering on the back of the car. So I'll get rid of that later. First of all, I've got to take out the gas tank. All right, let's see if we can get access to this gas tank. Now underneath the car, there is a protective shell. Now, first of all, you can see all, that, all the uh, gunk that's sprayed across the rear diff and the muffler. But you can probably see there's no access to the gas tank because it's actually partially inside the car. Hmm. There's a protective shell underneath the car to pre you know, prevent rupture while off-roading. Which means the gas tank's actually under the back seat. Upon uh, taking the mats out of the car, you can see there is gas everywhere. It's no wonder I was getting fumed out. It is, oh god, and the rubber's disintegrating. It is just everywhere in the car. Look at it all. That's gas and underbody sealant that's melting. Say what you will about lard and evas, but they're beautifully simple to take apart. I've had the whole thing ready to take out in about 15 minutes. That's insane. So here's the source of all my problems. The gas tank. Problem is I can't see where the leak is coming from. I see gas everywhere, I can smell it, but there's no visible leak on the top. So I think my best bet is to take the gas tank out. Swish it around a bit and see if I can replicate that leak. And there we have it. It's no wonder I only got 200 miles out of a Philip. Look how tiny the tank is! <laughs> now, where's the leak? Let's slosh it around and see if we can find it. There's still about a quarter of a tank in there. Oh, hello! It's that easy. There it is. <laughs> oh, bugger me. <laughs> All that time I could have just plugged it with a cork. <laughs> oh, shit. Right, I've got the seatbelt anchor removed. Let's have a look underneath. God, these things are easy to take apart. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that is soaked oily goo. Well, at least we know this part of the car will never rust. Oh, that is sopping wet with some bloody petrol. Jesus, it's a bloody time bomb I was driving. So what I've done is just ripped out the old flooring. It disintegrated anyway. And I'll, I'll put some new stuff down eventually. But, geez, look at that. It's just... This under seal is just disintegrating. It's just mush. That's the mat under the car that's absorbed all that gas and oil. Because of the shape of the car, the mat is fine up until the center the tunnel here. So all I'm going to do is just rip off this remaining bits of crap, throw it away, and uh, I'll come back and see that stuff's fine. But get it covered in gas and it turns to mush. So I'm just going to take all this off. God knows this will never rust. <laughs> that explains all the gunk that's slowly disintegrating underneath the car. See that? Leaking through. Again, this floor pan will never rust. <laughs> Gas cars are gross. <laughs> How this ever caught on, I will never know. A lot of crap came out of that gas tank. Now because I only need a fix to last a few months, I'm just going to use this JB Weld epoxy to plug up the gap. And that should give me a few months until this thing goes pure electric. I'm trying to do this one-handed. 
The annoying thing is that I had all along, I had everything I needed to plug this gap with me in the car. But I thought because the tank was half full, I thought the, uh, the leak was on the bottom half. Now if I'd only looked when the tank was full, I would have noticed this. But we live and learn and hey, I've got a free high all the way here. So this should hopefully last a few months. Put it on nice and thick. And that's going to take about six hours to cure, which will give me time to work on the rest of the stuff. Now I've got some degreaser here, some military grade detergent. Try and mop up all the stinky petrol juice. It is working, it's smelling better in here already. It's still filthy. When the time comes to convert this to electric, I'm just going to rip all the gas stuff out and just drown it in degreaser. Let it sit there for a day. It's the next day. Let's see how the stuff's cured. Oh, that's pretty solid. Awesome. That looks pretty good to me. Let's go chuck it back in the car. Get the gas tanks back in. That took about 10 minutes at the most. I've just got to reconnect the fuel line and connect these. Now the moment of truth. I've got five gallons of gas here. Let's fill it up and see if it leaks. Oh, don't turn on me, Argentina. It smells awful. Smelling this for nine days. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Let's see if it fires up. Let's see if it'll start. Okay, I got most of the interior back in. I'm now going to do the ultimate test. Take it to the gas station and fill it right up. God, I hope it doesn't leak. Oh, I'm going to be so frustrated if it still leaks. Okay, here we go. Turns out to cook a whole dinner, you need a whole kitchen. Okay, so I put five gallons of gas in through the container. This is 6.8. So we now know the tank holds 11.8, or 12. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but it is absolutely filled to the brim. I get it to move, and you can see it sloshing in there. So now the ultimate test. Will it leak? Please don't leak. Honestly, I think I actually fixed it. I've just driven around for about 20 minutes. I even uh, went to the car wash and gave this thing a blast with some degreaser and I mean it just smells, it smells like a little bit of uh, oil residue and Soviet vinyl. But there's no like stinky acrid smell of petrol. I actually fixed something. How cool is that? And there we have it. Fixed the leak. I've given the car a good wash. It still needs a polish. Um, but otherwise it's all good. Now I'm going to drive it around on gas mode for a while while I get back to work, start saving money again, start raising money to convert it to electric. That's going to take a long time. If you want to donate, go for it. If not, that's cool. I'll do it with or without external help. It'll just take a little bit longer. Uh, right now I guess I'd better go start editing that Trans USA video. That's going to take weeks, I guess, because I've got about seven, eight hours of clips. Hundreds and hundreds of clips I've got to sew together edit, find music, narrate, Ooh. <laughs> stick around, it's going to take a while, but we'll get there. In the meantime, let's have some fun with this car.